Hello, you are watching Third Angle Insight. The Boao Forum for Asia is held from Saturday, April the 6th in China's warm and sunny island province of Hainan. It's not a summit as such. There are no big announcements, just plenty of discussions and debates and the opportunity for business leaders and government officials alike to network. More than 10 state and government leaders will be attending, as well as leaders of big international institutions such as the IMF. The only European leader in attendance is the President of Finland, Sauli Niinistö, for whom promoting Finnish business interests is high on the agenda by building on an already strong relationship with China. Mr Lu Xinhua, the spokesperson for China's top advisory body, the CPPCC, speaks warmly of the Sino-Finnish relationship. Uh, uh the president of Finland is in China with a delegation of prominent business leaders, including Simo Karatie, the chief policy advisor for the Confederation of Finnish Industries. I asked him, given that this year's theme is Asia seeking development for all, restructuring, responsibility and cooperation, what role can Finnish enterprises play in Asia's development? Well, for, for the Finnish enterprises, the uh, development of Asia has been a very important issue and aspect in their internationalization and, and growth and will continue to, to be that way. And, and uh, it has been quite a bit focused to China and China's development, but at the same time, Finnish companies are more and more looking at opportunities in other Asian markets. Bilateral trade between China and Finland reached more than 11 billion US dollars last year. For Finland, it's mainly concentrated in the forestry sector, paper and pulp, machinery for energy production, IT and electronics, and to some extent chemicals. So what concrete goals are Finnish businesses hoping to achieve? For Finnish business, the Chinese uh, market uh, is not only an export market, it's more and more a home market, and we wish, wish also to... Uh, present our, our commitment to the Chinese development and, and the vast uh, opportu uh, opportunities and, and, and business that Finnish companies are doing there. They, are, they have invested over 10 billion euro to China and employ uh, around 60,000 people in China and, and they are uh, major taxpayers and exporters as well. We also wish to uh, discuss on the uh, chances of cooperation in third country markets, for example, mm -hmm. uh, in Russia, as well as in Africa, where the Chinese companies are more and more active in, in different areas. The Boal Forum for Asia was founded in 2001. It's 12 years old now, has gained in prestige, yet offers few concrete examples of real-world projects and achievements. So we asked Shalini Pandey from the Centre for Asian Strategic Studies in India what role she thinks this forum has played in Asian development. What I personally believe is that it has been created to counter the U.S. and other foreign powers joining the Shangri-La. It's mainly to counter the Shangri-La dialogue. Uh, this Boa Forum definitely has been 12 years old, but at the moment we can see that there's no much development or a kind of, a, how to say, uh, the, the, the policies that they have discussed in past 12 years, you cannot see any outcome of those issues or those uh, policies they have discussed. But if you see in the Shangri-La dialogue, whatever they discuss, that's a policy outline. For example, uh, last year, Leon Panetta said in Shangri-La dialogue that 60% of U.S. air and naval assets are going to be placed and focused on the Asia, Pacific, and this continent. That was a policy outline. Mm -hmm. But for the Boa Forum, if you see, no such major development or decision has been taken in past 12 years. 
So a lack of concrete results and policy announcements, but to what extent is the Boao Forum a China forum more than an Asian forum? This uh, Boao Forum is mainly a China forum. It, it is more of a projection of China. China is competing with India in the region. India has a completely different approach. India is open to new ideas. It has dealt with many countries in the past. It adopts a kind of a multilateral issues and has always contributed to global bodies, forums, with a kind of a democratic approach. These kind of conferences like Boa Forum organized by China, it has been like 12 years. It can continue for another decade, but it, these kind of forums will not have much impact or any significant, important, uh, significant importance in the region or their overall sustainable development. But not everyone agrees with that assessment. Professor Felix Massie is from the University of Zambia. Despite no stunning policy announcements, he believes these forums set foundations for greater economic cooperation with Asia. Zambian President Michael Sata is one of only two African leaders to attend this year's Boao Forum for Asia. So what can African countries, and Zambia in particular, gain from attending an event like this one? China's influence globally uh, has increased uh, in the recent uh, uh, decades. And uh, Africa's uh, economic resurgence during the same time has, has, has somewhat uh, brought China closer to Africa than before. Um, and so the co cooperation, uh, economic, uh, economic fronts, and, and, and increasingly political as, uh, as well, uh, as, as almost uh, inevitably been the consequence of, of, of those uh, trends. Uh, Africa uh, needs have needed China, particularly in terms of uh, getting access to uh, Chinese resources, uh, Chinese expertise uh, uh, in construction, in, in, in energy, in, in so many other areas. And, 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 and so a conference of this nature provides that opportunity to see what more can Africa explore? Because I think the, the thing that Africa has learned from uh, South-North cooperation in the past is we need to get a better deal from the economic cooperation uh, with, with uh, whoever we're cooperating with. And we, we feel perhaps we didn't make, get enough in the past from the traditional Western uh, collaborators that we, we have been working with. Now, Zambia has a close partnership with China. It long has. There was the construction of the 2,000-kilometer Tanzania-Zambia railway link, billions of dollars in investment. But recently, things have been a little bit more complicated. Sata himself has long been known as a vocal critic of Beijing. But both sides now seem to be taking steps to stabilize the relationship. Why is that? It's, it's interesting uh, because at the point when Sata was really anti-China, uh, he was in the opposition. And uh, when you're in opposition uh, politics, your viewpoint uh, is different from when you're in, in government and in power. And they have had a 180 degrees uh, transformation in terms of their view about China, uh, what opportunities China offers. And once they got into power, they quickly realized that you really cannot do away with China. Uh, in, this, in this day and age. Uh, that's just it. China is very proud of its Boao Forum. Domestically, news of world leaders visiting China for an international meeting plays out well for those eager to see their country retake its place at the table of world leaders. For a third angle on your current affairs, visit gbtimes.com. I'm David Keaton. Bye for now.